Most modern browsers have the ability to display SVG natively. You have two primary options for displaying SVG inside of a browser. The first one is to store the SVG file or the SVG image in its own file. And the second one is to embed the SVG directly inside of an HTML page. If you store an SVG image in its own file, you can uh, display it in the browser simply by pointing the browser to the URL of the SVG image. You can see that is the first option here. And I have an example right here. You can see this is a URL on, a, um, on my local hard drive, but the principle is the same. If you want to use the SVG image inside of an HTML page and the SVG image is stored in its own file, you have uh, several options. And the first one is to use an iframe and have the source attribute point to the URL of the uh, SVG image and make sure that the width and height of the iframe is big enough to actually display the SVG image. And you can also use an IMG element instead. Uh, IMG elements are now uh, capable of displaying SVG elements as well as PNGs, uh, GIFs or JPEGs. And again, you have to set a width that is a width and height that is big enough to display the whole SVG image. The third option you have here is that you can use um, the SVG image as a background image and you can do that using CSS. I will not show how to do that in this video but you can just Google how to use uh, background images in uh, with CSS and then just use an SVG instead of a PNG or whatever the example shows you. And then the final option here is that you can use an embed uh, element but that is um, for historical reasons I'm telling you that that back when the browsers needed a plugin to render SVG then you needed to use an embed element. But today I believe that using the, either the IMG element or using the SVG image as a background image is by far the most easy and the better options for including or referencing an SVG file in your HTML pages. It is also possible to embed SVG code directly inside of your HTML code and I have shown an example here. If you imagine this div is uh, this div element is part of a larger HTML page, then you can simply nest the SVG code directly inside here. The SVG element does not have to be nested inside a div element. Uh, I've just shown that as an example here, just to show you that around the SVG element is some kind of HTML. Embedding SVG directly inside of your HTML page like this is very useful if you want to modify the SVG using JavaScript.